Hello friends, welcome to the Random Shape Drawing Challenge. I'm your host, Sketchy. The object of the challenge is to use creativity and imagination to turn an abstract line into a fun and interesting drawing. You get to vote for the winner by commenting below. Let's introduce the challengers. Oh, this is interesting. These shapes were given to me by a friend. I'm just gonna rotate it around and see if any of the shapes kind of spark an idea for me. What the heck is this? It's like a piece of pie got cut out. An alien eyeball. One of the things I see about this one is almost like a man in the moon. If this were a profile, and this is his nose, his chin, or maybe his chin this way, and then the back of his head or the back of the moon like this. So let's do it. So from here to like here, I'm kind of like marking out the size without drawing the lines in. And now that I've got the size in, I can draw the line in. There we go. Finish up his chin here. Finish up his head. And then if this is his nose, he's gonna have a little smile, so. Draw a smile in here. Big cheesy smile. A dimple. Let's draw an eye in here. Let's draw an eye. A little triangle shape. And his eye, I want him to be looking at us. So I'm gonna draw his iris like this. And his pupil right here like that. And he's gonna be smiling, so I'm gonna have to give a big cheek. Oh, comes around and ties into the smile here. Give him an eyelid. His eyelid's gonna be a little bit thicker, sticks out a little bit more than his eyeball. And then let's go give him a eyebrow, looks like this. There we go, a happy moon. And to help him look like the moon, I'm gonna give him some asteroid strikes. You know, the moon looks like got all these little holes and stuff. And the further it is, further these are away to the edge, the flatter the ellipses are gonna be. And the closer they are to the center, like say his cheek here, the more, um, more like a circle it'll be. Because on a, on a circle, if there's one right here, it'll be like a circle, and then the closer it gets to the edge, it turns flatter and flatter. Do you see what I mean here? And it looks like it's kind of going around. They also get a little bit smaller. See that? So we'll do the same thing with his. And see how they're, they're at an axis to the center? That's another thing that makes them believable. Let's uh, give this a little bit more shading here, just for fun. I think this guy needs some teeth, so I'm gonna give him some teeth. Shade this in. Okay, challenge number one down, man in the moon. All right, what's this one? Well, it's kind of like a man in the moon too, but we've already done that, so let's do something different. I'll rotate the paper around until I, you know what kind of looks like to me right now is like a, a bass or a violin where this is one side and this is the center like this. And then the other side looks the same. Oh yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So if this is the center, then the other side would reflect, be the opposite. And it'll be a little bit narrower because it kind of bows like this. It's a little bit of an arch to it. So it's gonna be smaller on the other side. So this would be, I'm gonna draw this to help me remember where this is. It's gonna follow this line. So that's this point. Like that. Oh, this should be over here, huh? Okay, so real quick. Oh, it's so good to measure. Measure this. Measure this, and that gives us our arch. And then this comes down like this. Okay, now, 
with uh, when you're when we're drawing a bass or a stringed instrument, the strings don't lay flat on the instrument. It actually lipped up quite a bit. And about like right here, I think there's a bridge. I had a brother, uh, a big brother that played um, the violin. And so I got to see this. Went to lots of different orchestras, um, performances to see him play. And I got to see lots of instruments too. So anyway, the, the, um, the bridge is where the strings kind of lay. And I think, let's draw four strings. One, two, three, four. So those are little grooves for the strings. Now those strings come down here and they kind of attach at a narrow place here. There's a, some kind of a, a weird shape that sticks up right here that the strings kind of like end up lying on. And then over here, there's a neck. So the neck comes up here. Stuck in to this base. And then it comes, let's come over and around. Yeah, some kind of a cool S shape. Okay. Now I know there's a there's also something about like right here-ish along the strings that go from the bridge all the way down to here. And this is where there's a plate or something where the, the, the musician pushes the strings against this bridge or this, this neck thingy so that it can change the sound of the strings. Um, so let's, I'm gonna use a ruler, which I have handy. And I'm gonna draw a string from here to the neck, right up here. And then we do the same thing for this string from here to there. And do the same thing for this string. But I'm going to like lightly not draw part of that string. As if it was getting a reflection. Makes it cool. Okay, so this little bridge or this, uh, I don't know what this is called. Anyway, this part of the instrument is right below the strings here and it's a little bit wider than the strings and so it goes like this. It actually is raised from the surface of the violin a little, or the, the bass a little bit. And that comes down, and then right here, this chunk meets the neck. And the neck inserts itself into the, over, the, the big part and the big part is thick. So I'm gonna draw some thickness lines to it and echo this line here. And then this line is gonna echo this line. And this one's gonna echo this one all the way up to here. And a base has a foot right here in the center. I drew this line from the center line down. That gives me a, a, an idea of where the, the foot would be. And I'm just gonna, I don't know what these feet look like, but I'll just draw some like that. Let's draw this part. Uh, strings to the bottom, outside strings to the bottom. Something's missing. <gasps> Those little shapes right in here. They look like little S's. An S like this. It's like a hole cut out. And then there's one on the opposite side, like over here. So I'll just try to like draw a reflection. And I'm, I'm not gonna see the bottom part because it's gonna be hidden behind this bridge. I'll finish this up. So there's contender number two, a base. Pretty cool. The last one, the weird ice cream cone type shape. Hmm. Voice bubble. This right here reminds me of a cloud or a big fluffy sheep. 
And this reminds me of like a unicorn horn. What if we made a, a sheep corn? Yeah, 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 a sheep corn. If we did, this would be kind of like, if this is the horn, the head would be like right here. So we draw a head, a little jaw, and, and um, sheep's noses look like a little V right there. And they have a little nose separator thing. There's the, there's the nose. I'm gonna draw a little bit more of the fluffy part of his hair or her hair right here. And I think they, like here's an ear. So I'll erase this part. In the top of his ear, there'll be fluffy stuff. We gotta draw an eye in here. Let's draw an eye like this. And I'm gonna draw a diagonal. And I'm gonna draw that diagonal so that it overlaps the eyeball. And to make him look sleepy, I'm gonna draw the iris right by the eyelid like that. That makes him look sleepy. What a sleepy. And then let's draw the unicorn. Make little C shapes at an angle. Or the sheep is gonna have a party. It's a little party hat. Let's draw the rest of the body here. So, big ol', just, I'm gonna keep kind of make the same type of a cloud shape. For a, a fun, abstract body. And for fun, I'm just gonna make really simple legs. To kind of keep it look like a cartoon. I'm gonna make little, little V's shapes down here for the little hooves. And same thing back here. This is kind of weird, but I'm gonna draw the front foot right here, a little V shape. And then the back foot, it's gonna come up a little bit, so maybe the back foot's like right here. And he's got a little tail. Sleepy. Sheepicorn. That was challenger number three. That was fun. Which one did you like the most? Did you like the man in the moon? The base? Or the sleepy sheepicorn? Place your vote by commenting below. As always, please subscribe and thank you for watching. See you soon and stay sketchy.